Hi loves, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Victoria. I talk about stationery and books on this channel. So here is the official fountain pen collection. Although I may or may not have just ordered another fountain pen, we will see that in a couple of weeks. I'll be sure to do an unboxing. So let's start with the fountain pens that aren't in the pen, in the pen cases specifically. I have the new Twisby Eco Purple. It's supposed to go in the dark, although I have not tested it out yet with Pilot's Kosumosu in the barrel, and that is in the broad nib. I really like my Twisbees, although I've broken about three Twisbees because it's just plastic and I'm very rough on my pens, but I love them. They're cheap, the colors are really cute, the nibs are really stiff, and I enjoy that. Oh my god, there's like some leftover glitter in the barrel, I just realized this. I had a diamine ink in here before. So we got the Twisby. I have two more Twisbees, but those are in the pen case. Here's another floater, Pilot, not Pilot, Pelican M200. This has the gold and white colors. This is also a fine nib, sterling silver, I believe. And this has Pilot, it's the green one. I always forget what it's called. Pilot Shinryoku, and that is clipped onto my five year. This is a Florence and the Machine album, by the way, Dan Seaver. I saw her in September. Spiritual experience. Spiritual experience. Okay, and then you saw the two that I have carrying around with me in my Hobonichi pouch, which is my Parker 51. I'll show that again to you. My Parker 51 and my Sailor um, Winter Rain, I believe. And that does have a gold nib in the MF, medium fine. So those are my floaters. Now let's take you through the actual pen cases. All right, so we'll go from smallest to largest. I have my Superior Labor leather pen case in the black. I love this thing. I really want to get some leather covers for my notebooks. Alright, so in the Superior Labor, we have the Pilot Kakuno. It has a smiling face. I adore these. I usually keep like a light green ink in it. These are incredible. They're so cheap and they're so good. We have two more Twisbees. One in the light blue and one in the mint color. I don't know if you can see that. I have this one as a stub. The stub nib. There we go. So it's nice and square. I like using these with like shading inks from Sailor Studio like Sailor Haha. Ha. And this one is a fine nib. I usually like using darker inks in a fine nib. Maybe like diamine Prussian blue. So three Twisbees total, there they are. This is my first Pelican, Pelican Olivine 205. I sprung the original nib on this, it was a fine. Then I replaced it with a broad, it's a silver nib, the B broad. My only Caveco. I want to have every single one. I love the way that they look. Um, but the writing experience is like so-so. I don't use this that much simply because it has so little ink capacity. Within three days it's like gone. And I have an extra fine nib on this one. But the way that this shines in the light, I will never get over it. I wish all my pens sparkled and glittered in the light. So pretty. I really want to try a double broad in the Cafecos. And then finally, the last pen in the Superior Leather pen case is my only Platinum. Platinum 3776. It has Mount Fuji on the nib. This is a fine, I believe, right? Yeah, an F nib. I love the converter on this. It does take a lot of ink. Oh, we have a cartridge in here, but it does take a lot of ink. 
And I also prefer to use, again, like darker inks with my platinum. Okay, first case, done. The second case is a Goulet, not Goulet. You can get them at Goulet, but it's a Galen leather pen case, my ring. So let's move this over. Okay, my only vanishing point, I actually have two nibs. I have an EF nib and a broad nib for this pen specifically. This is the Radon Galaxy. I really want to get the water Radon, but these pens, oh my, these pens are no joke. These pens are like $800 and they're limited edition. So it's like, do I, do I not? Do I, do I not? I did purchase a Pilot that wasn't this one. I guess I can spoil it for you. It was the 823 in the translucent to finish off my 823 collection, but I do want the other Urushi ones because just look at it. Just look at it. I actually love the clip. I it, it like helps me hold it better. It helps my grip. Um, it kind of when I first got it, I was like, "Ew, why is the clip on the bottom?" But then I was like, "This is amazing. I want every vanishing point." They recently had a vanishing point that looked like the tortoise shell. It was like water assy or what? I don't know, something like that. And it sold out in two. I had it in my cart for two days, just thinking on it, and it sold out. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this thing. Which which nib do I have in there right now? I have the EF. The EF is a little scratchy, not gonna lie. The broad is so smooth and juicy. I love this thing. If all of my fountain pens were to disappear off the planet of the Earth, it's the 823s I would buy again. Hands down. These are my favorite fountain pens I own. Even than the Parker 51. They write like glass. I'm Again, I'm very mean with my fountain pens. I screw the lids on really tight. Sometimes they get cracked. This doesn't have an O-ring anymore. I took it off because I thought it was annoying to have to open this up all the time. And they're still here. They're still living their best life. They're still writing extremely smoothly. I completely take these apart. You're not supposed to take apart vacuum fillers. I take them apart. I clean them. I grease them. I put them back together. This is the fine nib, this is the M nib, and on the way is the broad nib. They only make three colors. I will soon own every color. These are my pride and joy. These are my babies. They're sturdy. They write so smooth. They are my favorite fountain pens of all time. If I would change one thing, it's the clip. The clip sucks. I'm sorry, guys. Clip? Ridiculous. <laughs> Everything else? Fantastic. I love these. Did I show you the nib? I think I just got too excited and I didn't show you. So that's the F. The F nib. They are gold nibs. And the M nib. And if you hear something in the background, again, that's my grandma. My 823s. Okay. I always wonder if like, if I get robbed, I feel like people won't go for the fountain pens, but there's money here, guys. There's like thousands of dollars worth of money. This was a gift from my friend Vilma. She got me back into fountain pens. So I had, I live close to an airport, by the way. So if you hear an airplane, that's why. I had a stint with fountain pens. I started using them maybe seven years ago. A uh, Pilot Kakuno, I had a Twisby, I had a Lamy Safari, and I had a Pilot Metropolitan. And then I gave them all away within months of owning them because I was using regular schmegular like me to paper, like spiral bound notebooks that were like a dollar. And I was like, ugh, I don't like this. It like bleeds through, it's scratchy, blah, blah, blah. Years later, I meet my friend Vilma. I meet her online. We happen to live in the same city and she gets me into fountain pens again. And she's like, look at, you have to try Pelican. You have to try Sailor do you want these pens that I have? And I was like, yes, of course, yes, please. So she gave me her Pilot Falcon and a Sailor Mini. I love the size of this. I love the color of this. I don't use it often because this part is broken and it comes right off. And the problem with this is that you're meant to twist this on. So it's like a full size pen, but this happens every time. It's so sad and then it gets stuck. Um, I don't know how to fix that. But there you go. So my fountain pen addiction is all Vilma's fault. So thank you, Vilma. <laughs>
You know who you are. All right, here are the sailors. The white crane, this is my first sailor. As you can tell, it doesn't have finial anymore because of the amount of times that I dropped this pen. Usually the ink that I keep in here is Diatramentis document ink. I use this a lot for work a couple years ago. Another MF. I love the baby blue color. I love the feel of sailors. And it has a glitter. I don't know if you can see it. It has glitter. Okay. These two look exactly the same. You don't have to tell me twice. Leave me alone. <laughs> They're not the same. Okay, they're different. I'm just trying to convince myself. Um, they're absolutely different. One is the Lucky, is it Lucky Charms? Probably not called Lucky Charms, but I think one is, I think the Lucky Charms one is the green one. And then this one is like the pen of the year, which is more blue. This is a Sailor Studio. This is a regular size, so it's like a little bit bigger. This one never gets used because the music nib is trash. I will never again purchase another music nib. Twisby, uh, the Twisby stub nib is a much, much better option. This doesn't flow right. It's, I don't like it. I just don't like how it feels on the paper. So I did, this one never gets used. This one I effed up. I, I messed up the nib pretty badly. It's an M nib, but I got it tuned at the pen show, at the Miami pen show, and now it works like a charm. So that's the M nib on the sailor pen. And it's sparkly. I would love a pink sparkly sailor. That's like my dream. I love sparkly pens. Okay, and then my last sailor is the new line studio. Look at the little bear. Look at the little bear. Oh my god, I love this pen. These colors are totally me. And and there's a little bear on the nib. There's a tiny bear. And this is the B, the broad nib. I like that this is a different color than this and that this is a different color than this. This brings me so much immense joy in my life. Okay, that was the Galen Leather. Psh, psh. Last pen case is a rickshaw from Goulet Pens. And in it, we have two inserts. Here we go. So the inserts, they're, they carry three, so I have six pens. Is there? No, the Twisby was in here. So five pens, and they're well protected because it's nice and fluffy material on the inside. Let's see what's in here. Here we have my custom ground pelicans in the tortoise shell. I believe these are the M400 Souvenir. Souvenir. I don't know how to say that. Look at these pens. Just stare at them for a moment. Are they not spectacular? They're gorgeous. I don't use them that much because I suck at cursive. And these are cursive italics. You saw these in my other video. I love them. This one specifically is just glorious, but I like this one too. <laughs> this one's my favorite though. There we go. I bought them together because I couldn't decide and I was like, well, sometimes I want a brown ink and then sometimes I want a green ink and why not both? Why not both? So those are in here. Let's put that back in. And then in this one, I have my Mont Blanc. My dad got this for me for my birthday. It has a story. So uh, my mother passed away when I was a baby and she used to collect Mont Blanc ballpoint pens. So my dad saw that I got really into fountain pens and he asked me if I had any Mont Blancs because my mother collected them and he wanted me to have something like reminiscent of her and I was like no because they're really expensive and he's like you know what pick one out and I'll buy you one for your birthday so hopefully this will be like an annual tradition thing something that me and my dad can share and like reminisce on my mom um so it's really really very sweet I went with the Betty Ponce this is like the only box I have I threw away all my boxes and you know fountain pen boxes are bougie af well, some of them. Like my Urushi, it looked like a coffin. It was like made out of wood. It was enormous. But I kept the Mont Blanc box. It's the only one I have. I threw away all the other boxes. So I never plan on reselling my pens. I just plan to hoard them for the rest of my life. It has my last name engraved on it. A little star. 
I love this pen. It is extremely smooth. I got it in the broad nib. My favorite kind of nib is a broad nib because I love juicy nibs, but because I also love tiny, tiny grids, sometimes it requires like an extra fine nib. And it has an illustration, I don't know if you can see that, of the little prince. iPhone, please function. I think I'm gonna have to use my hand. Look at it. It's, it's, it is, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> There's the converter, it holds quite a bit of ink. It says to only use Mont Blanc ink, but we don't do that around these parts because we know Japanese ink is superior. I stand by that. My Mont Blanc, my pride and joy. Excited to have more Mont Blancs in my life. Also, red is one of my favorite colors. Okay. Okay, this is really sad because this pen is beautiful. I believe it's called Sex and Candy. It's from Franklin Kristoff. Here's, there's another plane. The color, the lavender, the red. It's, it's really, really pretty. But it hard starts every time and it creates bubbles. So you can't get, like, it, the ink takes hours and hours to get, finally to get to the nib. And then once it gets there, it go, it like starts getting scratchy and it starts drying up and then it creates these ink bubbles on the bottom. It's just not fun to write with. It's so finicky and so dry. I just, I never use it. It never gets, it's pretty, it's aesthetic. The nib sucks on this thing. I don't know, something's wrong with the flow of it. I've cleaned it, I've washed it, I've tried again. It, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. It's so sad. Okay. And then my last pen. I love this pen. This is from Enigma Blanks. So generally Enigma Blanks just sells pen blanks. So a pen blank would be like this material in this shape, but nothing else. So you can transform it into whatever you want. Kind of like you would go to Home Depot and like buy a piece of wood and then you turn the wood into something. But they made these specifically, it was like a collaboration. It's called Champagne, oh God, Champagne something. I They might still be on sale. I don't know, it was like a limited run. I just love glitter. Okay, I love glitter and this has so much glitter. Plus it's a broad nib. If I could fix one thing, it would be to, I cap all of my pens. I cap every single one of my pens and this is uncappable, uncappable, unacceptable but it's really, really pretty. And I always use a sailor ink with this one that's like nice and peachy, just like this. I'll show it to you. I always use these two together. 173 and my champagne fountain pen. Okay, that was every single one of my fountain pens. I love them. I love collecting pens. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. And they're very expensive. I should have gotten a cheaper hobby. All right. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.